today we're out in the field with Ricky Ness and Ricky is on a John Deere 8345R and he's pulling a JBS wide body manure spreader. So uh, hello Ricky, how are you doing today? I'm well in yourself. Doing well, good to see you. Yeah. Um, I think uh, our our viewers are going to find this video very interesting. Basically, Ricky's out here on some wheat stubble uh, spreading manure. And Ricky, I was wondering if you could tell us just a little bit about, uh, you know, the tonnage and, and other aspects of the operation this afternoon. Okay, well, uh, we busy th uh, we're busy throwing up at three tons per acre. Uh, we normally filling up with this field around about 20 tons. Okay. Okay, so that's basically giving me four passes. That allows me four passes on the field. That basically I'll end off with about 0.5 ton. That's that's remainder. Okay. So it's quite a fast field. It's quite an easy field. This. Um, yeah. And is it easy because of the three tons an acre? Is that what makes yeah, it easy? Yeah, it's three. It's three tons. We normally yeah. go five tons. Okay. Uh, which is okay. We we get some um, crazy fields to do. But normally with our fields uh, that we do um, for, for the burnings and that, I mean, it's just basically straightforward. You normally do 20, uh, 20, you fill up for 22, 23 tons, and then you've got two passes. You normally do two passes right. on that. Um, and then there's also, then the long fields, then you will use up one pass on 22 tons, etc. etc. Okay. What's the most tonnage you've ever put on a field? I, you mentioned 10, 15, what, uh, does it get any higher than that or is that about the standard? Uh, well, that's what's basically, I've been, I've been spreading now and again, uh, 10 tons. 10 tons? Yeah, 10 tons. Okay. And you are GPS assist today, yeah, correct? GPS assist, yeah. Yep. And I show you're averaging about 10, 11 miles per hour. Is that about where you run well, this? I normally, with this year, I'm normally going at 12.5. 12.5, that's, okay. that's your max on your F1. Okay. okay. And that allows it quite easy to, to go. With the 10 tons that I was doing the other day, I was going around about 8 miles at the so max. Do so you have to go a little bit slower? Yeah, you've got to go much slower. And is that just because it's, um, I mean, what's the reasoning for going slower? Is it just it's throwing more it's out the back? It's throwing more out the back. And, and so you have um, that belt, as you can see, it's probably in the back there. Yep. That belt's on this kind of thing. Okay, so I see. Yeah. Yeah, that belt's just slowly moving right there. You can yeah. just see, barely see the chain moving there. And I see you got a nice little uh, shield here to protect you in case something comes back this yes, way? Yes, yes, most definitely. Yeah. Um, actually, we're going to keep the, the gate right at the back. We're, we're going to check up on that gate too, so you know, if, if the manure gets, um, you know, if it starts um, emptying out, yeah. it can throw from the back, the paddles, yeah. can throw some of the manure back this side. Okay. I mean, I've basically broken it the manure already. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Now, does this thing have maintenance you have to do every morning? Do you have to grease it? Do you, yeah. is there? The greasing, the um, air filters. Air filters? Air filters. Um, I normally blow out the, well, that was yesterday, we, we did the, uh, the front loader, uh, loop this, and the, and the tractor's um, uh, radiators. Uh -huh. we blow them out now and again, three, four day, every third, fourth day or so. Yeah. Um, just check on the tires. Check the oil first thing you do. Yep. Um, yeah, that's basically increasing. Just keeping up with that. Yep. Just the basics, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Ricky, thank you for your time, and we'll catch you on another video. Yeah, sure thing.